Blessings everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Carolyn from Tea Time and Dolls. We're going to make flowers. And when I started making these, I originally did, a, I have these flowers here, but these are not the ones we're going to be making. These are the heartfelt creations. And I used, you know, other doily dyes that I had. Um, and I wanted to demonstrate how you can use the AliExpress eBay dies, creating the same effect. First, I'm going to um, do a demonstration to color the pe petals. I don't have colored cardstock other than um, a very few pinks and a very few blues. I mostly have white. That's all I have. So I have to color my car cardstock, which for me is more fun because I get to create it and make it look the way I want it to look. Okay, so these this die here is well this die cut is from this die and these come in four sets from um, AliExpress or eBay I have bought my dies from both sites and I bought them a while ago and I didn't want to do a haul on them because people were getting on a bandwagon you know buying them from there making hauls on them so there are plenty of videos on these dies on all sorts of China dies from AliExpress or eBay and they tell you the price of it. One of them is Faithful Designs. Um, Christy is her name. I will link her uh, YouTube channel on the description box below so that you can check her out. Like I said, I really didn't want to do a haul. It was a little bit too cliche for me since a lot of people were doing it already. Um, and Faithful Designs um, Christy, she does really great hauls on these because she gives you the price also and she links where you can get them on AliExpress as well. So please check out her channel and her hauls on these dies. So these come in four sets. I'm using the largest size here for these um, petals. I cut three of these out and this is how you're going to color them. You're going to use the ink you have. You're going to use the color you, you, you want to use. I'm using like a very light pink. And you're going to circle around the petals, each petals, just on the edges. You can bring it down a little bit. And then you're going to, um, I'm using tattered rolls, distressing. Um, you're going to distress it on the edges and you're going to do this for all the flowers we're, we're going to make. And then I go over it again with, with the light pink that I'm using here. And this creates a beautiful effect. I'll show you the blue one that I did in a moment. It creates a pretty effect. Then you're going to take the, the tatter rolls again and you take off some of these, um, some of the ink and you're going to put it in the center and you're going to push it up just a, very lightly, just a little bit and you're going to get this pretty effect. You see how it's light here and it gets darker and darker? Um, I like that because it creates a more realistic look for me and it makes it very, very pretty as well. So you're going to do that and here is the blue that I already prepared. It's really, really pretty. So I inked it with the blue lightly and then I went over the edges with the, uh, with the tattered rose and then I inked it again only on the edges with the blue on top of that and it gives it that pretty, pretty effect. So, um, okay, now I'm going to spray this a little bit. In this bottle I have a little bit of white glue, water, and spray starch. So I'm just going to um, spray it from a distance, just a little bit. And if you have too much, you could always dab some of it off on a paper towel there. I'm going to use this tool. You can use whatever tools you have. You could even use the end of a tool like this, uh, the end of a pencil, a uh, pen rather. And you're going to go, oops, that's not going to work. 
Okay, so you're going to go around here. What you want to create is a wrinkle effect, like this. You want to create that wrinkle effect. So you're going to do that to all the petals. You're going to go around and then squeeze in the middle. I've already prepared all, all my um, flowers. So these are the demonstrations for you to do this. The only dissatisfaction I have with this die is that it cuts a hole in the middle. The Heartfelt Creation Rose dies don't do that. Um, and this is why uh, this dissatisfies me. Because when you squeeze it in, you can't really get the depth that you want. So sometimes I have to go to the edges, you know, to create the dimension. So... That's the only dissatisfaction I have with this die. Okay, so that's done. Um, we're also going to use this die here. And to prepare this for the small flowers, again, spray. I'm going to spray it away from the because I don't want uh, away from the from this area because I don't want to get it wet. Um, for the small, for the, for the small, very small flowers, you're just gonna press. You're gonna wet it a little bit and then press it just once here towards the tip. That's all you're gonna do, and then you're gonna flip it over and press it in the middle. For uh, this one, because it's so delicate, um, you're gonna spray it, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your ball tool in the middle and you're gonna roll it out on all the petals. So you can't use a small um, ball tool, nor can you go around the edges like we did with these, because uh, it's just gonna tear. Um, then you're gonna flip it over, and you're gonna use this side, even though this is a small flower, but because it has that delicate and um, look and the holes in it, it makes it fragile. And the same thing with these. So that's how you're going to prepare these. Okay, so now we're going to prepare our doilies. One of the flowers is going to have this doily, and other ones are going to have other different kinds of doilies. But they're all going to be prepared in the same way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut here in a crisscross manner. And then we're going to take um, I'm going to take this tool that I have because it has a slit here um, so I can push the paper through but I'm going to show you how you can do what I'm about to do with this tool. Uh, you can use a skewer, a dowel, or the end of a paintbrush and I'm going to go in between these spaces here and I'm going to curl it a bit. So I curl it like this and then I just overlap this one over this one and just press. That's what this tool is going to do for me. And I'm going to tell you why we had to cut that um, when we finished here. And you're basically going to do this to all the doilies we're using today. All the doily dies we're using today. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate it on this one, but it's basically the same thing. So, the reason why we need to cut this is because we need to overlap. In order for this to, these parts to stay curly, we need to overlap one over the other like this and glue it in place. So that's why we cut that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue to this. And overlap. Glue it in place. And then for the other parts I'm going to turn it over. And overlap this one
and it stayed curly and that's what we want uh, you're also going to need to cut out a circle to glue behind here um, so cut out a circle I'm going to use a one inch punch from EK success but you can cut it out manually as well and we're gonna like I said we're gonna do this to all the doily dies I suggest you watch the whole video before you decide to um, make these if you're planning to make them we're going to use um, this die here I actually forgot to show you what this die looks like which is right here and I like I said I'm using all Aliexpress eBay China dies I'm not using anything that's name brand in making these flowers okay um, so we're gonna use this die and how we're gonna use this die um, we're gonna cut off six of these they look like petals to me so we're gonna cut six of these uh, scallops out and then depending on the flower you're gonna make or well, the color of the flower you're gonna make um, you're going to ink the edges around okay so I went ahead and inked around here what we're also gonna do with these is we're gonna curl them as well on all six of them I want to create dimension um, this doily is a little bit different than the other doilies that we that I um, well one of the doilies I was working on and the other doilies you will see um, throughout the video so I'm gonna do the same method here I'm gonna skip I'm going to curl it here, skip this one, curl it here, skip this one. So I'm going to do it in every other one. And these are for the small flowers. If you already have flowers already pre-made and you have some doilies that it may not be from AliExpress or eBay, China dyes, um, you can use the same me method and just use the pre-made um, flowers that you already own to create the same effect. Okay, so this is all curled. I'm going to flip it over to the underside and I'm going to add glue to the parts that are risen only. And this cuts out the center, which is right here, and you're going to need that. So, I'm just going to place that right there. And that creates this, which is what we're going to need. So, this is how you prepare this one for the small flowers. Oopsie. All right, so we're going to do our first flower. Um, I'm going to give you an overview on the dyes used. This is what we prepared in the beginning of the video, which is this dye. These cutoffs are from this die. Uh, these flowers, which I cut three out, are from this dice, this flower set that comes in four. And then these flourishes, uh, leaf flourishes, are from this die. All right, so we're going to start assembling this first. Um, we're also going to use one of these. Um, which is from these dies. This is the largest um, lace one. Um, so we're going to cut just three. You can do four if, if you like. This is the one we're going to be making. I only added the three lace petals, uh, but you can add four if you like. I have another one here that's smaller. I, I used the smaller flower die and a different um, lace die, 
and I just made it smaller and I put four in this one so you can do the same thing if you like with the big one okay so we got those three cut out uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these in place so I'm gonna put one this way The other one the opposite. It doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be even. Um, these are sh uh, sh shabby chic. Okay, so we have this. Now we're going to add the flourishes. Now we're going to add the flowers and center the flowers as much as possible. The next one. I'm going to offset it. I'm going to put it in between. I'm going to use take this petal and put it in between these two. And I'm going to raise it to give it dimension. I'm going to Hold it for a little bit. To okay, now we're going to glue in these. And then the last thing you're going to do, well not the last because the last thing would be to add some glitter to this, but I'm not going to do that. I'll show you the one that already has it. I'm going to add, oopsie, some glue in the middle. And then I'm going to add some glue here. Oopsie. And then the last thing is you will add your glitter. Uh, you can use your stickles or I don't have any stickles. Um, what I do is I use either mica powder or glitter, very, very, very fine glitter, and I mix it with um, varnish, and then I just um, paint it on. And there's also glitter glue that you can brush on. Here's the one that has the glitter. On to my next flower. Um, I'm going to use the smallest die and I cut out two and these are the four that they come in and then this part which we did in the beginning of the video and the cut out the circle cut out that comes here it's glued to the back and these two they come in four dies and I use these two to make these. And I did it in the same way we did this one. I cut the X and then I glued it together to overlap to, I crinkled it and then uh, glued it in the middle, overlapping it. And I um, inked the edges here and inked the edges in that one. Okay, so since this one was already prepared, all we gotta do is um, start layering. So this one goes in first. This um, silicone mat, by the way, I bought it on eBay, of course from China, and it, it was about two dollars. And um, I bought it when I um, hot glue. All right, there we go. And I press it in the middle to give it a little dimension. So like I was saying, I'm pretty sure you can find this on AliExpress too. This was in the baking section. And um, I bought it because, you know, um, there's a, a hot glue gun company that makes these. But of course, you know, it's a little bit pricey. I'm going to layer this one on top. I'm going to squeeze it in. OK, 
Okay, so this is how this look how pretty that this looks pretty by itself. You just gotta um, put a center on it. Um, okay, so all we gotta do is layer these. And this is the one I did in blue with the um, glitter. Our next flower is going to be this one here. So all we're going to do here is just glue them one on top of each other. And this is how it looks when it's all glittered. I'm trying to get this blue stuff out of here. Okay. This is a lighter pink. Okay, so now we're going to do our second flower. So for the rose, um, I used... This is the small um, die, and then this is the smallest from that set. From this set that I showed you. Okay? So we're going to cut three of these and two of the small ones. And then I used this die, which comes in a set like this. This is the um, second to the smallest. And I cut two out. I cut one in white, and then I cut one in pink. So we did the same thing that we did to this um, lace doily. We did the same thing here. I crinkled it, and then I cut an X in the middle, and then I overlapped it and glued it. So this reminds me of the of those wands that people make. They make rosettes and um, they stick them in a decorative straw. I won't be making any of that. Uh, you know, it's yes, it's very decorative and decorating is great too. But it depends on what it is for me. Um, they don't serve a purpose for me. They have to be functional. So I won't be making any of those things and I really don't want to receive any of those things. They're beautiful and I love watching how people make them, but I, they just doesn't serve, they don't serve a purpose for me at all. Um, okay, so and then we're also going to use this die that came with this die here. So I used just the middle part of that. And I, may, and I cut out this part here. This, we don't have to crinkle it at all. We're just going to lay it flat there like that. Okay? Nor this one we're going to crinkle. We're going to leave this one flat also. And then there's these dies that come in three. They're like branch leaves. One of each. Okay, so now let's assemble this. In the beginning of the video, I showed you how to prepare your flowers. Okay, now for the roses, you're also going to color the small petals on the inside. And you're only going to color one of these three larger ones on the inside. So this is going to be the third. And I'm going to tell you why you do that just to this one um, as we go along. Okay, so you take two of your petals doesn't matter which one and you're going to glue one inside of another like that okay this one is inside of this one so now this one is going to be in the outside of this one and I like my uh, rose petals, um, my rose buds tight. I don't like to leave a hole in the middle. I want it to be as realistic as possible. Okay, now you take these um, remaining petals and you're just going to wrap it around one by one.
and it looks a little bit realistic to me. Now we're going to take another one to give it body. Um, so we're going to add some glue here and we're going to offset this. So I take um, this petal here and I will offset it in between two petals. Okay. So all you got to do here is wrap them around one by one. I just do them one by one because you want one to overlap the other. And the reason why I, I paint in the inside is in case there's a space you can see inside it's also colored which gives it a more realistic look as well. See, and I gave it the body, and it looks like a pretty rosebud. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this one last. So I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to glue these in place here. For this one, Okay, we're gonna glue the petal, the bud in the middle, and again I'm gonna offset it. Okay, and the reason why we colored on the underside is because we're gonna glue these up. So now you'll be able to see the underside even when it's here. So I'm just adding glue just inside there and just closing it up and holding it until it sets. Look how pretty that it looks like a cabbage. <laughs> okay. And now we glue this in the center, offsetting it as well. There's our rose. How pretty dimensional that is. So this is um, done. I also wanted to show you the one I made in pink. So our next flower is going to be a rosebud. Um, this is my first time doing this. I didn't even practice doing this at all. I just decided to throw this in last minute in the video. So for this, which is going to be the leaves, is this flower from Martha Stewart. And I'm going to use it as leaves. So I did the same thing. Well, I had to punch it out. Oh, I punched it out first and, and then I colored it. You could also color the paper first before you punch it. And, um, and I also um, use my, um, my ball tool and um, pressed it in to wrinkle it as well. And these are already prepared. So we're going to prepare these, the buds, the same way we made it for the rose. Um, it's going to be a little different uh, because I'm going to add a stem. These are stamens um, that I bought on AliExpress. Thanks to Christy from Faithful Design. She, she did a haul. And, um, and this is one of the things that she bought. They, they come in a bundle for very, very, very cheap. I think a dollar and change for, I don't know, 500 or so. I don't even remember. Anyway, so what I've done is I colored this with a marker, with a green marker. I took a small bead that was, you know, was big enough. It's a small bead, but it's big enough that it's not gonna go through this hole, and we need that. So I cut off um, this, was also here so I just cut that part off I'm gonna push it through here and then I'm gonna th um, thread it there I'm gonna add a little bit of glue so that it does not move I want to keep it in place so let me just let that set for a moment Okay, so we're going to create the bud the same way we did for the rose. Okay. 
Oh, that turned out so pretty. And glue these up. I think I'm going to leave. I was going to layer this one on top, but I like it like this too. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to add some glue down on the bottom of the rows. Oh, this turned out so pretty. So now you can make your own little rosebuds. Look at that. It worked. Look at that. I think I'm going to push these out a little bit. I colored it on both sides. One is a little darker than the other. Um, I'm an artist. I paint and I draw. So um, I'm pretty good with colors. I'm not an expert, but I do fairly well. Look at that so we're gonna make butterflies um, this set I cut this out with this die here and this is a set of four dies they're all very pretty too okay um, you can back this up um, you know to add color in here like I did to these this is a glitter paper, and then I just backed it up with a solid cardstock, um, and then I just cut around it. So you can do that as well. I'm going to leave mine like this. I'm not going to back it up. Um, and this butterfly here is a digital download uh, that I bought on Etsy. I will link her um, shop in the description box below. Um, I cut out a white piece of cardstock on the smallest lace flower die and we're going to create a butterfly with this. Um, we're just going to cut off one of the petals and you create a butterfly and I'm going to push these back a little bit and all you got to do here is um, I'm going to add a stamen for the antennas. It's going to raise this because this is here with the glue and it lifts this up a bit which gives it a nice dimension. So we're just going to glue that in place. And then we're just going to add flower, a small flower in the middle. And then you can glitter the wings up if you want to look how pretty that looks. And here's one that I've already made, the glitter. And the same thing with this. These already have antennas when you cut it out, so I'm just going to cut them off. I made here. Um, I've attached this one to a tiny post pin. You could also put these on paper clips. I also wanted to show you this is from one of the other, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. Um, I cut out about three or four card stocks. And I just laid them on top of each other and it gave it a nice stiffness and I glued it on here to close pin. Look how pretty that one turned okay, out. Okay, so for the lace flowers, I just cut out one and put it on this tag. I made shabby chic vintage tags. Alright. And this one I made using this die here also from either eBay or AliExpress and I made this card here 
this is the rose we did and I, I um, added a flourish behind it um, I traced the die around a piece of cardstock and I fussy cut the edges and then I cut this out separately on a scrapbooking paper I'll show you this next one that I created using this die and this one too I used, I traced it fussy cut it and then cut out the die and I glued it on top and I also added a flourish behind this one these are great for mini albums as a tag these are also great to make um, cards I with. made this one using this die again what I did here was I traced it in the inside of this then I cut it away from the trace which would be this one in here this die is very very delicate so um, after I glued this one behind this die I also cut out another one of these and glued it again to, to the top layer I glued it from underneath so that it creates a little bit of sturdiness because this sturdiness because this particular die is very very delicate and I added a flourish here too then what I did since the inside of this cuts out um, which, which would be this thing here this piece here which is pretty too you can use this on a separate card so I glued it in the back so it'll have a nice clean look see this tag is not from AliExpress or eBay this is a hot off the press tag I just wanted to sh show you how I used the butterflies on this tag and here's one of the butterflies on the, on the clothespins and this is just the one glued down with some lace here and there AliExpress also has and eBay also has dies um, that are tags which I also have I'll you know probably some do something else in another video using those dies and they're um, they're pretty big too those um, tags so I'll show a project using Pay it those. forward and cre create to inspire as well um, thank you for joining me today um, share be fair and be filled with love